Thank you to colleagues from the NAP Global Network and the United States for organising this event. I'm delighted to speak on behalf of the United Kingdom as we take on the COP presidency and as partners of the NAP Global Network. Those of you joining today need no reminder of the urgency of accelerating adaptation and building climate resilience. In 2021, we've seen awareness and momentum build around delivering practical responses to adaptation needs. This event is just one example of that. The UK is committed to helping developing countries to prepare for and to respond to the impacts of climate change. That's why advancing action on adaptation and resilience is a key goal of our COP presidency. In working towards this goal, we recognise the national adaptation plan processes that integrate climate risk are a key mechanism for scaling up adaptation planning and implementation. Countries are defining medium and long-term priorities through their national adaptation plans. These are crucially important for driving action on adaptation. They help to establish a direction of travel, guide where investments are most needed, and to track progress. Very importantly, effective planning also helps to build an all-of-government, all-of-society approach. This will help to ensure adaptation is suited to very different national and local contexts and conditions around the world. Effective plans are also a tool to integrate climate adaptation into national and sub-national planning processes and to support a more resilient recovery that reaches the local level. They may also highlight national support for projects that deliver for marginalised groups, including women and girls, Indigenous peoples and youth. As a founding member of the NAP Global Network in 2014, the UK is very pleased to provide funding to the network. Our support has helped more than 25 developing countries accelerate progress in their national adaptation plans and communications. A key priority of our presidency has been to encourage all countries to submit adaptation communications. We're delighted that so many have responded. In the year leading up to this COP, the number of adaptation communications submitted to the UNFCCC grew tenfold, from 3 to 30. To support our adaptation goals, in January 2021, the UK led the formation of the Adaptation Action Coalition, alongside numerous partner countries. This builds upon the 2019 Call for Action on Adaptation and Resilience. The coalition, now 40 members strong, is committed to enhancing global action on adaptation to bring about a climate resilient world by 2030. It's doing so by convening governments, business, civil society and academia to learn from each other and to identify solutions that can be scaled up. An example from the initial work of the coalition is a water tracker developed in partnership with the Alliance for Global Water Adaptation. The tracker is being jointly designed by Malawi, Egypt and Costa Rica. It helps incorporate climate water risk into national policies. In other areas, the coalition has focused on building resilient health systems and it will soon begin work on resilient infrastructure. For all these reasons, effective planning will only grow in importance. National adaptation plans are the foundation for achieving adaptation at scale, with the potential to transform governance structures and decision-making processes. I welcome today's announcement of renewed support for the NAP Global Network to continue its excellent and vital work. In the coming years, we will closely follow the network's effort to assist countries to articulate, work towards and realise their aspirations in a changing climate. Thank you. I wish you all the best as we continue to work together to deliver great action on adaptation in order to create a safer, more resilient world for us all.